basket, he averaged about 62 points a game. St. John's and Georgetown, two of the original seven schools that formed the Big East back in 1979. Oh. Got to look out for Roy Hibbert because he could dominate the middle of that paint tonight. Old yeah. school. Yeah, indeed. I know you like the look of that. That's right. He is sick. He's been well defended. Sheridan's been on him. Cook is playing with three fouls right now. Imperative he does not pick up another one for Georgetown. Wow. Beautiful move inside. And uh, Georgetown Hoyas take the lead, 35-34 on the shot by Hibbert. And took the lead twice in the second half, but now Villanova is holding to a seven-point lead on an 11-3 run. And Randy Foy has been carrying them lately. He guarding now against Bowman. Back door. Oh, that's impressive. Hibbert, a good look. Gets it down low on the bounce lead to Jeff Green, who slams it down. Green now has 12, and the Hoyas are back to within five. By John Thompson the third, and he beats Hibbert. Much better job forcing the catch deeper. Now Yulman is in control. I guess he is in control. <laughs> Beautiful move by Hibbert. Hibbert in the lane. Uh, nice job that time, bodying him out, making sure he couldn't get the easy low post entry by Joyce. Hibbert now has six, and a foul on the floor. Nickel Zimmer by Wallace. That's Wallace's first. Uh, Hibbert, a guy you can't let him dominate real low, and I thought Joins did a much better job here. He's got him 8, 10 feet away, but the counter size, and that's what he's been able to develop. The counter missing. But Gary Waters told us that without Inman and Hill, he feels as if his team is hurt much more on the defensive end because of the versatility that those players brought as Waterstrat now forced to go one-on-one -on -one with Hibbert down low and no chance for Dan Waterstrat as Hibbert now leads all scorers with 13. Yeah, not even a little bit. I had the open floor the other way. A little small change here in the hole on penetration. Couldn't have jumped behind me quicker. I, I provide an ample shield, more than happy to volunteer it. Well, Marty Aronoff, our crack statistician, has a left hand up. <laughs> he knows where his bread's buttered. <laughs> Rutgers now needs some stops, trailing by 14. I'm Bob Schusen here with Bill Rapsley at the MCI Center. And once again, it's Roy Hibbert in the paint, one-on-one. -on -one. Some post moves and an opportunity for a three-point play as the big man will shoot an extra. You know, he keeps the ball up. He doesn't put it on the deck if there's traffic around him. He's so efficient with his understanding. And nobody's coming to rake. Everybody's staying at home because of the outside threats. And that puts Joins in a difficult position. Good defensive team, ranked seventh in the nation. And on the offensive end, obviously very deliberate. They're going to work and get the shot that they want. Rarely are you going to force them to go out of their system. That's what you do if you're Georgetown. Use your size. And I asked Greg McDermott yesterday, the <laughs> Hall of Fame coach, <laughs> proud man, to have his son lead his team here in the NCAA tournament. But I'm sure he's about as concerned as his son might be that Northern Iowa getting a little bit that's too far Roy ahead, and that's why you go right to your strength. Roy Hibbert. Five minutes on his own. Largest lead for Northern Iowa has been seven. Hibbert. Nice catch. Wheeling. How about that big guy? Roy Beautiful. Hibbert. Nice drop step in the paint. And again, going to the rim. Roy Hibbert, the only guy for Georgetown, really focused on aggressively going to the basket and forcing Northern Iowa to play the defense or give up the pass. Go inside of the big fella. Cook, Wallace, Hibbert, Green, Bowman. That one off the mark. Hibbert with the rebound and stick back. Had a chance to talk to John Thompson, Jr. During halftime, he's broadcasting the game today for national radio, and he said that Hibbert has improved so much, and he's actually surprised at how good the big fella has gotten. Well, he's an intelligent young man, follows directions pretty well. And again, you saw in the first half a couple of nifty moves, drop steps, little hook shots. That's what a big man needs. Bowman on the baseline with six points. Now McCowan, that one off the heel. Bowman with the rebound. 
But Georgetown is doing a better job of cutting off the penetration dribble. That's what starts it all for Northern Iowa, and that forces defenses to scramble, lose open players. Hibbert again! Shades of Patrick Alonzo Dakimbe. Made the pace, which is a disciplined pace, and imposed their will on Georgetown, but Georgetown having none of it. Hibbert, turnaround jump shot in traffic. He looks like one of those old time Georgetown centers. Said when compared to Patrick Ewing, Alonzo Mourning, and Dikembe Mutombo, he's never seen a big guy at Georgetown improve so quickly. Hit it with the rebound. And you saw again Ohio State forced to shoot it from beyond the arc. You know, not really desirous of getting the ball into Terwilliger. He turns Dials on the bench. Now Hibbert on Terwilliger. Easy. Roy Hibbert. Roy in the right situation, but Green is one of those guys that understands the game. Lewis a three. Partially blocked by Hibbert. Don't forget, for those of you expecting to see Arizona Villanova, we'll get you there in a moment. Dribble wheeling inside. Are you kidding me? What? Patrick Alonzo Dikembe never did it. No, they couldn't do it. <laughs> you talk about confidence right here. Roy Hibbert showing everybody something. He was Roy Hibbert to hit a three. <laughs> <laughs> the big fella moving, grooving, and scoring. Hoy is by eight. Green with five on the shot clock. Green's a good passer, great job. And dunks it down, does Hibbert. See, Donovan had to go to the zone because he had no matchup for Hibbert. Just when he's ready to go back to the man and man, John Thompson put Hibbert back in the ball game, and the matchup stays advantage Georgetown. Green dishes, no scores the points. Our chemistry is the key. All of this having to band together with the loss of those three upperclassmen you mentioned. Well, you had Brewer and Horford played quite a few minutes last year. Brewer had 32 starts. A nice draw. Oh, my goodness. How about, How about it? My goodness. He smiled at himself there. That was some move. Those feet just kept moving. <laughs> I'm just. telling you. They got a 7-2 point guard here. They didn't know Chris Richard. Well, we'll see some real action here. Look at this spin. Wow. That was not a walk. Goes to the left hand. That's the kind of thing you break your leg on. <laughs> Pretty nice touch. Now we see the other hook shot. In the corner. Brewer really toughing with long arms of his. Yeah, the shot clock is off, Jim. The shot clock is down to eight seconds. It won't, it won't make any difference, but they were lucky there because Georgetown would have been severely penalized. Roy Hibbert already has one foul. He doesn't want to pick up a second one. So Scooch has really went after him, able to get the basket. Sap to the basket. Hibbert with the follow. Five for Roy. Double team gets it back to Green. Nice pass to Hibbert for the jam. How about that two-man game? Jeff Green, just a great playmaker, able to draw two defenders to himself, caught Roy Hibbert moving to the basket, and great hands by Hibbert to catch it and drop it in. On the other end, Green picks up the foul. Look at the ball handling ability there by Green. Hibbert set the little screen, they force the switch. Ron Brown, very aggressive around the basket, showing no fear. Against the great shot blocker, Roy Hibbert, Brown gets two. And Hibbert with another dunk. <laughs> well, the penetration from Georgetown just destroying the Vanderbilt defense. Mark. <laughs> Six minutes without a field goal for the whole. Hibbert with the block shot, then comes up with the basketball and had a little elbow into the chest of Ross Neltner. Hoya basketball. A good hustle by George Drake, getting his hand on the basketball. Almost able to come up with that steal. Here's the big fella controlling things inside. Roy Hibbert coming over to swat it away. 
a good job by Summers not committing that foul. Neltner had great position inside, but Hibbert able to come over to the top for the block. Good, strong move by Roy Hibbert. That's why a lot of folks in this club could make a run at that final four because of their interior play. Hibbert just controlling things inside. 13.6 boards for the big fella. Drake inside, swatted out of there. I couldn't tell who got it. There were a couple of blue jerseys around. Maybe we'll give it to Ewing. And Hibbert and Patrick Ewing Jr. both got their hands on the basketball. And offensively, Roy Hibbert just catching the ball inside. That was something that he didn't have as, as a big part of his game last year. Just good shot by Alex Gordon. Just couldn't get that three down. Have working on the clock right now. Bends on Metcalf, drives the lane. 18. 